Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Aquarius, so this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Please take the messages that resonate, leave the messages behind that don't fit. Also, I'm an intuitive channeler, so I work with my guides and they provide me with messages. Um, allow yourself to use the energy, don't allow the energy to use you. Um, if you would like to contact me for a personal reading, all of my contact information is listed below. Also, I want to thank you guys so much for your likes and um, becoming a subscriber. I truly appreciate it. So I'm going to get into your channel messages and then we're going to pull some cards to see how everything ties in together. So Aquarius, also this is a timeless reading. So whenever spirit brings you these messages, that's when they were meant. So for you guys it's all about changes coming spirit said that there's an energetic shift taking place i feel like some of you guys are waiting for this change and you know that it's coming and i feel like it's like more so like some type of knowing you know that it's gonna come it may not physically be there that it's coming but there's some type of energy um around you that you know that it's going to come especially with aquarius you guys are in your head um so you're really in tune with your intuition so you have material harvest here so this is speaking about you know something coming in something um something physical as far as some money some type of gift a job offer but it's some type of material harvest some type of abundance I feel like for some of you guys you're saying about time like like you've been waiting for this and you have perfect timing so my perfect timing card is is literally perfect timing and it's also divine timing so it's all about spirit time whatever you know spirit brings you those things it's in it's in spirits time so know that you know the universe angels guides are working behind the scenes to bring this material harvest in to your life So we start off with death. So that talks about transformations and endings. King of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Okay. All right, so Aquarius, your overall energy is, <laughs> Spirit just said chill, <laughs> um, <laughs> the chill card, right? This is all about, you know, pausing, reflecting, going within, recharging your battery. You know, you might, you guys might be going through a lot. You know, you have the nine of swords here. This is, you know, this could, this may not be your reality, the nine of swords. This may be all in your head. You know, this could be stress. This could be doubt. It might not even be negative. It might just be you in your head because the swords represents thoughts. And, you know, if you're not careful, you could, you know, deplete your energy and exhaust yourself. Some of you may be involved with, you know, some type of conflict with a group of people um, or a person because you have the five of swords here. You have the eight of pentacles. So this is you, you know, working hard, focused, dedicated, keeping your emotions close to you. And I, I feel like you guys are keeping your eye on the prize. You have some type of goal. You have some type of long term goal that you're focused on. It could be in regards to your money, your security, um, some type of long term goal. Could even be relationship that you want to bring into your life. All right, so we're starting off with the death card. So, you know, I feel like you guys are going through some type of transformation, you know, some type of changes. You did have the five there. All right, so with the death card, you have the seven of wands. So, you know, with, during this transformation, you could be having a couple bumps in the road, a few obstacles, you know, but with the seven of, of wands, you know, you're on the high side of it. You're, you're going to get over it. Um, you're going to be able to achieve your goals and, and 
successfully overcome any bumps in the world or anything like that this is also about setting healthy boundaries and um really just taking control you have the emperor here taking control of your thoughts i, I really think that that's going to be important for you guys taking control of your thoughts is really going to be important for you guys between now and the near future you know it's going to take some patience on your part because you do have perfect timing here but just know that the universe is working in your favor to bring in this material harvest so with the king of pentacles you know this is someone this could be your energy or someone around you the king of pentacles is like is very secure is very comfortable um i feel like this is what you're working towards you know you're working towards you know being persistent not giving up you know the nine of sword the nine of wands you know this this guy is he's pretty beat up you know he's been in war he's been in battle he's tired he's exhausted but you guys aren't giving up and i feel that you're you're wanting to end some type of painful cycle and you want to move into this energy of the king of pentacles of feeling secure feeling confident um regardless if it's financially or um whether it's financially or um in a relationship so with the queen of cups you have the three of wands so this could be someone in your life or this could be your energy you know the queen of want the queen of cups she you know she keeps her emotions to herself and she's very intuitive and you know you could be thinking about expanding with this person for so for me some of you this is you moving forward um maybe taking this relationship to the next level um this queen of cups if it's in a work environment this could be someone that is providing you with the expansion and you have the ace of pentacles so like i said if this is work this could be the offer coming in from this person and the queen of cups it can be male or female it doesn't have to be a woman but this is something for the long term this is something um that is gonna is gonna last you know you're gonna receive some type of new beginning and you're gonna receive some type of clarity you know look at this you're going from this to this However, this is the overall energy. You're starting out right here and you're progressing to up here. So that means that, you know, you might start off in the energy of the Nine of Swords, which isn't comfortable, right? Which some of you guys are used to it because you're used to being in your head. That doesn't mean that it's, you know, healthy. Take this time, like Spirit said, chill out, relax really recharge your battery, really partake in self-care, you know, go ground yourself, go walk in nature, take a bubble bath, you know, try to think of ways to kind of pause your mind from working so much because you do have this beautiful brand new beginning coming in. You know, this could speak about, um, you know, it could be even regards to a contract, you know, an offer letter, but there's some type of clarity <coughs> coming in. And this clarity is going to bring you happiness. It's going to it's going to bring you joy. And excuse me, guys. My, I swear, it's like as soon as I start recording, it's like allergies are like here I am. <laughs> so, um, this clarity coming in, this new beginning coming in, you know, look at that. The baby is just riding into the sun. You know, the sunset. You know, happy and you know you guys are moving towards that and i feel like the ones that are truly connected you know with spirit with your intuition i feel like you know that this is coming like the energy is like ramping up and you and you know that it's coming so you have devote yourself discovering the highest truths very beautiful energy and you know there's a lot that you can discover with going within but it's coming from a certain place right like this 
this bird is kind of relaxing letting go and this energy is just it's a lot it's a lot going on so devote yourself to you know discovering higher truths like i said i think that grounding yourself is going to be really important um really recharging your batteries is going to be essential to getting to this material harvest because you know it's coming in regardless but while you're you're in this transition it's like don't make it harder on yourself and agonize while it comes in you know just kind of take a pause pause for the cause pause relax and um, really recharge your battery so when this new beginning comes in you know you'll be energized and ready to move forward so very beautiful reading guys if you could comment below and let me know how these messages are resonating I would truly appreciate it. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I um, hope you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.